everyone, and welcome back to World Explorers, the world-building podcast where we take a prompt and we build an entire world out of it. My name is Casey, and as always, I'm joined by my co-host and the ultimate prompt master, Isaac. I'm torn. Oh, do we have multiple choices? Yes. Do you think they are equally good, then? Yes. Okay. Well... I mean, maybe this last one, uh, not as much. Anyway, anyway, I've got ideas. Do I need to pick a number again? Sure. Okay, how many numbers? Out of two? Three. Out of three? Ooh, uh, two. Okay, so you have picked the time episode. A- another With time Another episode. time. We got another... Time. Oh, it's the last time travel though. Yeah, the last two time related episodes are my, some of my favorites, so I I'm ready. The, uh, this uh, basically started off with the idea of a person who is bound with time. In a sense like uh I had a couple ideas of how, how this could work. One of which is um this person uh does not age. Because this person, uh, well, as I <clears throat> so this person could age, but ages with time. Ah, uh, I don't know how to explain this. Because I was also trying to remember how exactly I had it all organized in my head before. Uh, because I yeah. came up with this months ago. Yeah, see, the thing is, when you say bound in time, I wanted to be like, Isaac, I hate to break it to you, but technically, we already are bound to time, hence why we age. I'm I've been to wanting think... to do this one for months, and now that we're doing it, like I forgot what it is. Okay, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to get into your brain now, and trying to think what bound to time might mean for you. Uh, I'm assuming it's, it's got to be magic based. Are you referring to like? Okay, so you were talking about anti aging, like never aging. Are you saying that like people are stuck in one time, like you're uh, that... trapped in it? That does sound like something I come up with, but I don't think that was it. But we can do that. <laughs> okay, I don't think this is something you're born with, because that could be weird. Like, really weird. I, I don't think 20-year-olds are being birthed into this world. I think yeah, this I mean, is... Yeah, it sounds, it sounds a lot like uh, Once Upon a Time in the beginning, like the first season, when everyone is stuck in one place in one time, then the day isn't repeating, but it's very similar yeah. every day. Yeah. And no one's aging, no one's aware that time is stuck. I mean, that's that, that's really boring for story. Like, we all know that first episode, they're like, screw this. Uh, the story only started when they weren't bound by t- that time, stuck in time again. So, but I think what could be interesting with this is if we have a society uh, and there is an age lottery and you draw a number and that number is for one, the age you have to get to before you stop aging. So it could be six, it could be 112. It's just whatever the number you happen to get and that's the age where you will stop aging. Okay. And so the, the uh, time when you stop aging, that's when you sort of become bound with time? Yeah. Okay, well, maybe we should establish this. What exactly is time in this universe? Uh, the, th- uh, the bringer of death. Bringer of death. You know, the one that comes okay. in and makes you all achy and... Okay, here's an idea. Bro. What if time is an energy that's flowing through the universe? Perhaps it's like an invisible energy. Maybe there's a certain way to see it. But it's like a magical energy that's just flowing through the inner uh, universe, but and uh, it's causing things to age, causing you know, time to move. But once you bound, you once you've bound yourself with the time, uh, you sort of flow with the energy. Okay, so and what we're saying is that it used to be it for us. Like, say this is a thing in the real world. Right now, all of us, none of us are truly connected with time. Time is just affecting us. But in this society, they have learned to see time and to latch onto it to a point where they can stop themselves from aging. Yes, and it's not by stopping time, but rather moving with it. Becoming one with it. Yes. Like, uh, like, think of it this way. Think of a a stream 
just rapidly flowing by mm -hmm. and you have a boat sitting on the stream. The boat is tied to the docks. In yeah. this instance, time is flowing through uh, the boat because the time is the imagine stream as time, boat as person. Okay, uh, yeah. The it's just flowing right past this person, and that causes them to age. But when you untie or unlatch the boat from the docks, it will flow with the stream and does not age. Okay, that's a that's a good visual. I think that makes sense. Yeah, when you describe it like that, I feel like that makes a lot of a lot of sense. So, if you're fighting against the current, it's gonna affect you. But if you flow with it, then it can. Yeah, and I'd say that overall, you're not really fighting against the flow of time. It's just sort of hitting you. Uh, but if you were to, but if you were to actually try and push yourself backwards against the time, what would happen? Uh, rapid aging. Yeah, that that's, what, that's what I figure. But that's like a boring answer. Like, what else could happen? Wait, how far could we take this? Like, what else could happen? I mean, what else logically time? would happen rather than you just rapidly aging? I mean, that is the most logical thing, but I feel like there should be something else more interesting. Like a worse consequence? Yes. Or even a reason to do it? So, like, yes. a good thing that happens when you push against time? Oh, okay, how about this? Uh -huh. How about if you try and push against time, you do have the aging effect where you just start aging rapidly. Mm -hmm. But what if uh, this was, uh, what if maybe your story is somebody who wants to time travel oh, it's, and uh, is trying to use the flow of time to travel backwards? And one of the ways that some people have tried time traveling is by fighting against the flow of time, which causes them to age faster as they push themselves backwards through the time energy. Oh! Allowing them to appear in the past, but older. So, b by that logic though, that... No, I guess you're not fighting time at that point. Does that mean that if not just going with the current, you could also, like, go faster? With, like, push with the current to de-age, and to also, you know, uh, to go into the future as younger? I think that you could. So it's like reverse, like it's reversed as you'd think it'd be. Yeah. Because you would you think going, going into the, the past, future, you'll actually age. But when going into the future, you'll age. Yeah. Just and like, maybe that's like one of the things is flowing, if flowing with time, like, bound, uh, like having yourself bound with time is easy. And having time just normally flow through you and you age normally, easy. You don't have to try and that happens. Uh... Pushing with time and zipping through uh, future, maybe uh, that one uh, that might be a sort of thing. That most I think that'd be risky, do. though, because uh, you know you can when you start pushing with the current, there's a chance the current could get so strong that you get stuck in it, and then next thing you know, you just cease to exist. So that's probably yeah, like, that's the danger there. Yeah, like maybe time does have different areas and points in time where it does become stronger and sometimes it's weaker like a river and if you get if you start moving too fa you might actually move too fast and you might de-age yourself to like where you're a baby yeah. or you cease to exist okay so we we've been calling this a river so i think there are some options here one this could be an actual liter literal river in the world or two, this could be like a dream state that you can put yourself in where you enter the river to either, like, I guess, preserve yourself from aging, like freeze time for you by just flowing with the river uh, or, uh, you know, move forward or backwards, depending on what you want to do. Or it could be a literal river you swim and you come like this river has been on the world for all eternity. So people are just swimming in and out of different times. Constantly. What if this is like an? In, what if everybody has their own sort of invisible uh, river, and it would just be this energy that flows through them? Uh, but if you can learn to see or sense, feel, however you, you learn it's there, learn to sense this uh, river flowing through you, you could latch onto it. And I'm going best way I can describe it is spiritually flow with it. So it'd be like, you'd put yourself in a trance. I mean, I guess the only way that flowing with it has benefits of, of not aging at all would be if you can do it and still do other things. Like, you could just be in that natural yes. state. 
But yes. I get so it's it's probably something that takes a lot of training then. I imagine it would. Not everyone will learn to do this, even though the benefit of it is e literally eternal life and time travel. Yes. However, I imagine time travel is a thing where uh, it's an even it's even harder to do than just uh, stop yourself from aging, and those who try it might often kill themselves. So people just don't do it. Yeah, but it's also your good story element when you have a character who can actually do it, but, you know, there's risks involved and they... Yes. I thought you said this wasn't a time travel one, Isaac. That was... Yeah, well, it, well, my original idea wasn't, whatever that was. I remember that much. It wasn't time travel, but this one it has sort of become time travel. Well, do we want to talk about the paradoxes of time travel, then? Uh... Maybe... Uh, so I have so a... How would the time travel in this one work? Like, if you were to de-age yourself, are you still in the same point of time? I, th I imagine that you would still be in the same point of time when you latched on. You're just normally moving with time. Uh, so are we saying the river only affects you as a person and not the world around you then? I mean, I guess that makes sense if it's individual rivers of emotions. Or yes, whatever, yeah. yes, but if somebody were to try and time travel then, they couldn't actually go into the past. They could only have time flow through. This is too similar to the other one where time flows through you. Uh, or the rock, you mean the rock one? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's definitely, because that's the time travel that makes sense. Yeah, so in this one, what if these uh, time rivers... Uh, you can latch onto them and flow with time, but you could try and go backwards in time. I mean, I, um, Isaac, do you however, want do you want to play with the idea that this time river is a literal river in this world, and you just have people living throughout all the time of the world, like they just come in and out of the river? Like, uh, going to a different time period is just like going to a different state for us. Okay, we could do that, where there's just a literal river that... Just because this is feeling too much like a world we've already made, and we don't want to do that. Yeah. So, how about how about we go literal river for a bit? See how, how that okay. goes. Okay. So, now we have the time river, which I'm assuming stretches across the entire planet, so everyone has some access to it. And the it would work as we were talking about the spiritual one. You would get if you get in and you kind of just stand in the water, nothing happens. Uh, if you even if you let yourself just get pushed by the water, nothing really happens. Uh, what you have to do is actively swim. So you've you've got to put some physical effort into it. And if you swim against it, you'll watch time kind of speed. Uh, what was it forward? But you'll also go against the river. Eat, uh goes backwards. Yeah. Yes. Time goes backwards. Yeah. You'll watch as time goes back and you're fighting against it. There is an age thing that happens to you, but I don't think you'll age as much as you're going backwards. Like, I think you'll go back in years more than you'll your body will age. And then same with the reverse. If you want to go into the past, you can swim to the past and do that. Which kind of puts people... Uh, you have to do this interesting thing of travel where you go to a time and you might be like stuck as a six year old but you still want to go backwards in time more but then you have to wait like 15 years in this one time and then you can do the journey again to go uh, forward even more in time and stuff. Yeah, it would be a very slow journey. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's not. It's like not. If you want to go back and see something like the Civil War, you're going to be there a while. Yeah. Uh, as for going backwards in time, that one, I feel like, I feel like you can go forward in time as much as you want, but in backwards, that's when, you can't go backwards as far as you want. I'm trying to think if, like, there's any way you really can, because you'll age going backwards. Yeah, and then if you just, you're like, oh, but maybe you can go, uh, you can go with the current and go into the future. And then go backwards and, like, do that back and forth until you slowly crawl your way into the past. I don't think that will work. Because I think the the river fighting against it and fighting with it are the same amount of years. 
so you'll just be stuck in the same time zone you've always been like you there is a limit to how far in the past you can go and the more into the future you go the the farther away the past becomes for you so the past is still lost to you except for like a couple years and even then yeah. you're aging yourself more by doing it so I go. think yeah. that I we've explained everything clearly hopefully if you're still confused I'm following it. I don't okay, know I, it makes sense in listening. my head. <laughs> it makes sense in my head. But let's let's talk about a society that has access to uh, just jump into the future and how that would affect it. Okay, so if you can go into the future mm-hmm. and see society, if, if you see future society, uh, let's say that they've created some sort of high level of technology in the future. Yeah. And you decided to bring that technology back. You How? could not go very far. And, oh yeah, we never talked about, like, can you take things in the river with you? Yeah. Or do those things that you take with you also get affected by time? Probably at the same rates you do. So, uh, going so into the future, your clothes will... Uh, I guess, I'm trying to think how that would work, because they would go y- grow younger with you, so I guess the clothes would be fine. But going into the past, it would go older with you, and your clothes would kind of disintegrate. So uh, keep that in mind, yeah, so, past travelers. So, so if you try and take a film reel into the future... It'll, it'll work. Because it's go- it's, yeah, it, nothing it, will happen to it. Well, it'll become younger if you take it into the future, which means the film might turn to oil. Is that how... I if mean, you, I don't think it'll deconstruct itself. I don't think an item... Because aging doesn't deconstruct... Like, uh... Your a- so this is unaging it. It was originally oil, but if you take it into the past... Well, see, but that makes... That, older. that makes things complicated. For example, in the past, if you ha- if you're going into this uh, river with a broken bone, uh, and you go into the future, and you're de-aging does that bone then heal itself because in the past it wasn't or in in which case if it then healed and you're going into the future and you're going back into the past does that bone break again because in the past you had a broken bone like that's that's what that arises and I don't think that would happen I don't think it's it might be uh I don't know I think it's just related to what age affects on you not what has happened in your world affecting you okay so a reel is always been a reel because it's that was just how it was made. It's not going to deconstruct because someone had to actively put it together. Age didn't turn a piece of wood into a wheel. So it can. It only has so. It's basically an item that uh, goes through can only de-age for, uh, so far. Yeah. Before uh, be- uh, and it just sort of stops. Even if you try to de-age it even more, it won't. But Which if you take it into the future, it can something can age forever. Yeah, yeah, and it'll it'll deconstruct and dissolve and stuff like that. Which is why traveling in the past is so much more of a danger than traveling in the future. Which I think also works then for like humans going into the river. You can travel in the past so far you turn to dust. But in the future, eventually, uh, I guess when time starts, you would be when you're an embryo and the first bit of life came into you, which means you'll probably still die. Yeah, you're not in a womb at the time, so... You'll pro- you're will you still going to die, but it's not like you're ceasing to exist. Like, your little, your little red deformed thing is going to wash up on the shore in the future. As morbid as that sounds. Or be trapped yeah. forever in the flow of... River. Like, I can imagine there's a uh, not-so-pleasant job in the future where they have to fish these things of people who got stuck in it. Ah. Uh. Yeah. And, like, just fish it out and just bury them in a mat. And uh, I don't know what you'd, how you'd bury them or what, but... I, I think... I do believe that's a dark thing that happens in this world yeah so i think uh, you would you could you, so you could die either way you go yeah but it's uh, different sometimes <laughs> if you get caught in a really quick current you might accidentally go further than you intended or but if you're trying to go backwards i think that you're less likely 
uh, to die because you're fighting the current. So you'd lose strength and, and it'd stop you before turning to dust, usually? Yeah, you're not going to get a quick burst uh, that's going to push you backward. It's going to aid you upward because you're trying to push against the current. Honestly, I don't think like getting stuck is going to happen much because literally the, the way to stop it and have time move normally for you is you just stop swimming. Like, you float. Yeah, and you just flow with it. Yeah, I can see and some then, people getting panicked, especially if, say, you're turned into, like, a three-year-old because you weren't thinking, uh, and then you start panicking, and then you die going into the into the future. Uh, but I do see it less likely to happen just aging forward. You're probably more likely to be like, okay, I'm tired, let's stop here. This is as far in the past as I'm going to be able to get. Now yeah. I'm going to go enjoy my two years left in uh, the Renaissance era. Go talk with the mm -hmm. artists that inspired me and all that stuff. Which does, which I do believe means, I don't know, this world has, I guess, a really weird culture where I almost feel like the culture doesn't change as much as you think it would. Yeah, I guess it would be so similar across all the different times because people are moving f through the different times. Yeah. But if somebody were to try and take, uh, uh, we didn't solve this earlier, where if somebody were to try and take technology from a hundred years in the future and bring it to the past or the present. They couldn't do uh, it. It would de age. Because technology does no, not No, it would age upward if you bring it backwards. I mean, yeah, that's what I meant. It would age to the point where it would be like... Great. Also, you have to think, this is still water. So... Uh, even if it, even, like, bringing stuff into the future, you have to think about, like, is this thing gonna get ruined by water? Cause if so, cause, yeah, cause you still get wet. It's a river. Like, people probably still, like, purify the water to drink it and stuff. Yeah. Like, they use it as a river as well. What if this, uh, river actually has some level of sentience? So. And, because if you try and, like, move... Uh, objects uh, into the past that would still work when like you're not going too far into the past, like 10 years, that could still create a paradox. But what if this river had some level of sentience and knew whether or not you were taking something into the past that would create a paradox and then intentionally uh, just starts messing with its age and in certain ways that will cause it to not work? Or we could like, just like say it, it, it can affect your memory. Like, time has an effect on memory. So it can force you to forget things that would cause paradoxes. But not even like that. I'm talking like... Like, if you brought a Nintendo Wii back into the 80s, that would create a paradox. It wouldn't make it. it, though. It would get wet, and then things would start... Maybe items uh, are affected by time more than people are. Like, living things are. Maybe. Uh, so, like, if you I bring an remember. item in, it'll just decompose extremely fast. Don't wash yeah. your clothes in the river. Find another source. I mean, I guess it's fine yeah, as long as it's not flowing with it, but yeah. So I have yeah. I have a I have a question that I think will introduce an interesting aspect to this world. Uh, rivers have fish. Okay. Do we want fish in the time river? I don't know. What would these fish even do? Like, do they affect you somehow if you eat them? What What's their purpose? I mean, we we have three options here. We can have just plain normal fish that just flow through time constantly and aren't even aware they're doing it. Uh, okay. Or fish, uh, or fish in the river aren't affected by time. Or we can have magic fish that have been affected by it greatly and are, I don't know, they, well they're magic fish now. I don't know how they'd be magic. They're gonna have fish, they need to do something. Oh, I mean other than being a food source for the people living there? Uh, we could just have it be a food source. Like, there's other food sources, but this just could be one of them. I mean, this could do an interesting element. This could actually, if we want to go this way, we could say that the river literally only affects people. And maybe your clothes. Just to bless. Just to, or Or maybe not. Maybe this is a world where people come in and out of the river unclothed all the time. And people are just yeah. like, this is normal. <laughs> this is just how the river works. I imagine that uh, throughout time there would be, like, some stalls and stuff. 
Near, yeah. Set up uh, the stores, just close sto- clothing stores right by the river. Well, I mean, you can't bring money. You can't. Uh, That's the thing. Like, when you get into this river and you enter a new time, not only are you now stuck in this time, usually, because to change time... I mean, I guess you can go back to your own time pretty easily in the beginning, but the more you spend in the future, like, the harder it is to get back to the past. Uh, okay, so a common thing that people do is they will go and bury or hide money somewhere that they know it will be safe for the next ten years, and then they go and they get it and then buy clothes. Or they honestly, they just have a bank that has been there since nearly the beginning of time that keeps track of everyone's money. And I guess can do a uh, thumbprints. Cause what if there's a time bank? Yeah. Like one that where the time is universal and it works throughout all... Like, like you're able to access basically your account no matter what point in time you are in. I feel like you that's a, a that's online. a more of the future. I think in the beginning, it started out as a little shack with a person who had a. I think thumbprints is something people would figure out pretty fast. Uh, where they had plants that produced black ink, and you had people's thumbprints, and you then had someone who was just really good at comparing thumbprints, and maybe there were like passcodes and like verbal things, all associated. And if you answered the questions correctly and your thumbprints matched you would then get your stuff no matter what time zone you're in. And they would just store it. Uh, up to a certain point, I think they know uh, what year the person's pro- I, gu- I mean, I guess not. I, if they go into the past, back into the past, they could assume that they probably are off to die. But in the future, I don't know. I guess people could forever live if they uh, they swim properly. Yeah, now this thing, it sounds like it does have a whole slew of paradox problems. Oh, yeah. Where if, where if you, like, put money in at one point and then take it out later, but then you go and, uh, like, you put it in, like, you open up your account, but then go in before your account and it was made and try to access it. Like, what if this is the one thing that has, like, no connection to time, it is directly connected to you, and the last action you made regardless of wherever you are in time. Okay, so now we are suggesting that this is a thing that was formed with the river. Is this a, like, deposit pond? Is this, like, like the ender chest in Minecraft? Maybe. Or something, which... I'm trying to think how this would work, because it has to be something that's more natural than a bank, because it's something connected to the river. Like, I don't think people... I mean, maybe they could have made it eventually, but, like... In which case, that introduces a lot of different things to the world, more so than just banking. So, I feel like if you really want this to be an element, it has to be a more natural thing that is confined to, like, one place... This might help. Uh, one of the things that this would probably end up doing is giving Isaac. everyone their own timeline. Isaac. They can have the base timeline. Isaac. Yes. What if? Okay, hear me out. Everyone has a fish. All right, and the fish okay. can carry items, and the fish recognizes it's one person. Okay. And no matter what time zone it is, you can call to your fish, and it will come to you, and it'll hold your money and like clothes and stuff and let you bring certain things like money universal money which is i guess maybe i don't know what the money would be to make it work but we'll call them we'll call the money scales scales i mean i'm trying to think like okay here's here's the thing like money is an interesting thing because it has to be universal it has to stay all year round uh it kind of has to be fixed but at the same time you kind of need to be able to make more of it but at the same time, this has to be the one item that can travel through time and not be affected. So, I, because my thought is it yeah, almost yeah, has yeah. to be like, also, I don't know. I don't know how this money thing works. We I, have to make a new material, a new item. I uh, think magical item. the simple solution here is that we just forget all of this and just accept you come out with absolutely nothing and you rely on people's generosity to get you started and get situated in the future. And if you're lucky, there happens to be charities when you uh, come in at that era. And if you're not, you just struggle until you can figure it out. Or if you're struggling too bad, you just jump into the future some more or jump back into the past, back to where you're, the time you are from. Yeah. I think it's the simple solution. 
Probably. I, yeah. I, I'm i trying to think of ways where you can, like, keep things, but it just, it's, it, it asks a lot more questions than, I feel like it causes more problems than it's solving. That seems to be how it's working. That often happens with time travel, That though. really does. You think you come up with this really cool, I would be interested, like, in the comments if you can think of something that would work for this. So, like, let us know if you have a solution where you can, mostly just money, like other things, like anything that you can buy with money, how a world can have a one money that lasts for the entire timeline of a planet and can be accessible at any time despite you jumping forward and backwards between time, like how that would happen, without having other things be able to be stored in it, because that causes problems. Because then you can have things from the future being brought to the past that aren't supposed to be in the past. And we solved that problem, and I really don't want to have to solve it again. Okay, so something else I was thinking about yep. was, what if we were to have a character? This could be a main character, side character, mentor character, whoever. So we've got our character mm -hmm. who decides, I want to travel through time without the aging effects. Um. And so maybe one of the things that he starts trying to do is reshape the river to actually curve and go in reverse. Because the river might just be like a straight line normally. And uh, it, dep it all depends on like how you flow with the river. Well, that's where you true. End up in time. Like, what happens if you dam the river? Oh, if you dam the river, then I guess time just stops. Like, because you're not going anywhere. Does it end the world? It's... Does the world just end? Like, what happens? Maybe. If... Do people... Uh, I mean, for one, you, you've you created a pond now, a time pond instead. I, I mean, what if, I... like, the timeline... What if the entire timeline starts, like, uh... Coming together, where it starts shrinking, but everything is all contained within the same uh, space of time. So, like for example, you'll have a house here, and in ten years, this house is going to be torn down and rebuilt with a different house. But if you were to start piling all the time on top of itself and on top of each other, you would suddenly have these two houses colliding and coming together. And mixing, where one is, where they're destroying each other. Oof. Okay, so what ha So if you damn the river, you damn the world. Uh, pretty much pretty is what much. we're getting here. So a fun story element is someone doing this and time being weird, and you're having to find out where along the river they're doing this and going on adventures to fix the river, uh, stuff like that. Fun adventures there. Even what time? Because you also can have to find what timeline they're breaking the river as well, and you're going to have tons of people from different timelines trying to figure out the same thing. Uh, which makes me think that damming the river just never works really, like it lasts for a bit and then it stops because you get found out. And you would need a very big dam to hold all of time. And people would notice. Yeah, I you think eventually the dam might break, or there would be one point in time where things are colliding. But then it, the dam overflows and just flows past the dam. Or even the fact, like, going. the dam's not there and then the dam is there as time's colliding and eventually the river just breaks through and then everything evils out and it's like the dam never existed. I just don't think damming yeah. the river would work. I think that maybe it would cause some destruction in a certain point in t of time. But beyond that point of time, everything So I think what would be, be more interesting is a common thing in this world. Like, this is a world thing that there is someone out there who's been damming the river a bunch and throughout all time a select group of people have been have been chosen have been raised to find this person and stop them okay so we're bringing the scales they're bringing the fish back because these fish have magical time timey wimey elements within them that can be used for multiple things, one of which is time communicators, where you can take the scales of a fish and turn it into a commute turn them into communication devices, uh, to talk with people throughout time. And they can travel further back and further forward than we can because they're not affected. 
assuming they found a way to travel without being affected. The fish. I'm talking about the fish. Oh yeah, the fish are not affected. Fish just go. And, okay. uh... They're not the most intelligent leave. thing, though. They're still fish. No. So you just have yeah, to hope they fish. make it to the timeline you need. Because <laughs> they're, yeah. they're just going in and out of time. They're still having yeah. the... Ki- they have... Uh, life as a fish in this world is weird, because when you have kids... You're like almost instantly separated by your eggs and you lay eggs but then you're like you they hatch in their time and start moving it's just weird like you lay your eggs and the next thing you know your eggs are gone because you switch times but obviously the eggs aren't moving so they haven't life is a fish could be lonely the eggs would be aging still yeah because they're staying still in the river they they would age quickly because they're fighting against the current no, they're, they're staying still forward. in it. Remember, if you don't, if you stay still oh, yeah. in the river, yeah, you, you stay don't age. still. Yeah, you, they, you don't age. But then they would never hatch. Oh. oh. Maybe the time. Maybe the time fish just aren't affected by the time travel. But then we, they can't be messenger fish. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Easy solution. If you go deep in the river, it's just a river. So they lay their eggs at the bottom of the river. It's fine. They age normally and stuff. And then the fish co- go up and they can travel through time at the top of the river. Solution, easy, simple, not overly complicated. Fish can still lay eggs and they'll still hatch. <laughs> okay, uh, also, we didn't establish, I don't think we established this. Are people swimming in the river or is there a magic boat? It's swimming. You gotta swim. Okay. I don't think boating would be effective. Because I feel like you need to like be one with the river, like you gotta be touching it. Yeah. I will not Now, what know. if somebody were to take this river water out of the river and use it elsewhere? Does it? Does it? I think it loses its ability. I think it just turns into water. Like it's got to kind of be connect. Time needs to be connected with the rest of time to actually be effective. Okay. So you can like take the river and drink, like boil the water and drink out of it, or use it to water your crops or wash your clothes and stuff. As long as you take it out of the river first. Which is an easy okay. thing to do as long as you're not, you know. It's the same way like rain then being poured into the river, that rainwater then becomes part of time and has the magical effect again. Yeah. But we are out of time. <laughs> in no, this video. we're not. We just gotta fight the river. I'm not, no, no. Uh, fight I, the river. We fought the river enough. I'm I'm ready to just stay still, come to a complete stop, and lay some eggs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, I'm not gonna do that though. I'd be concerned <laughs> if you did. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's kind of where we're gonna end it. Uh, so kind of sum up what we have. We have a river of time. Uh, cutting straight through a world in which if you fight against the current you can go into the past but you age and if you uh, s- swim with the current you will go into the future but become younger uh, and we talked about money and then gave up uh, on that so that's what we need your help with is figure out the economy of this world because it made our brain hurt Cause I say we go back to the banker plan um, no, we're it's, done. It's a, it, I'm done. We are taking the two most confusing things in this world, time travel and eco- economics, and trying to combine them, and it's just a bad idea. We'll make the banker a fish. P- Bye, guys. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> My brain I am a shark. Feral! a lone hammerhead shark. He's a lone shark. Bye. Are we just ending on the lone just shark joke? I guess. Cool. <laughs>